much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? And the answer to that question and to the meaning of life is 42. Yesterday, to no surprise, Google dropped VO3 within its new ecosystem called Flow. Once you log on to it, you'll see a pretty simple prompt box here. And we're just gonna start right off the bat with a prompt. A 1980s robot sitting on top of a suburban home, stargazing. He wears a letterman's jacket. He sits next to a beautiful woman who also looks up towards the sky. But what's unique is the sound effects that are now attached right to it. I didn't ask for it, I didn't prompt for it, it just came along with it. So if we keep going back through here, uh, you have your frames to video, we're gonna click that. And as you see, you have your first frame, your last frame, and as you, as you click through it, you can pick a frame. I already had some that were generated from a different project using the old video effects. You can't upload anything quite yet. So for this test, I'm just gonna use one of my old uh, images here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this. And as you'll see, we're gonna put a prompt in. We slowly arc around the egg as the creature reaches out its tentacles to grab the egg. As soon as he touches the egg, it glows. The creature jumps back in fear. I'm gonna add a second one, our camera movement here. We have dolly in, dolly out, jib down, jib up. Orbit left, orbit right, pan left, pan right, static, tilt down, tilt up, truck left, or truck right. I think a lot of tools have this feature in there, but this is really nice to have. Uh, and as soon as I hit generate, you'll see up here, it says it's switching me to a compatible model for this feature. And I wanna click through here and see what that actually means. Once I click, um, you can, click over here and see, oh, it moved me from VO3 to VO2. So I'm assuming you can't use camera moves within VO3, uh, at least right now. So let's just go take a look and see what that looks like. So it comes out, looks a lot like VO2. The fidelity is still there. I would probably re-roll this if this is for a project, uh, but you know, good enough for now. So moving on, we're gonna Go ahead and check out the ingredients to video, which I think is a lot like what Whisk is, where you just add elements in and a prompt and it mixes them together. Uh, but for this one, you don't have to specify whether it's a character, or scene, or, or style. We're just gonna add a few shots here. So I'm gonna add uh, this one of these aliens. Let's go and do our passed out Easter bunny and a different scene. Uh, let's do Easter eggs here. We fly through the scene in a backyard of a suburban backyard. Starting at a group of small aliens, we fly over a man in an Easter bunny suit, passed out on a lawn chair, and at the end of the shot, on a hand, putting an egg in the basket. I'm gonna go ahead and push, check and make sure that it is on VO3. Gonna hit go, and again, it's not letting me use VO3, so I'm gonna have to use VO2. The output is pretty good. Okay, it, didn't, it skipped right over the Easter Bunny, but if this was a shot that I really wanted to make, um, I probably would experiment it with just a little bit more. So good enough for now, good enough to test with, but, but it's really not VO3. Okay, let's try another one. We're gonna do a 1980s robot sitting on top of a suburban home star gazing. He wears a Leatherman jacket. He sits next to a beautiful woman who also looks up towards the stars. The camera tilts up and then zooms through space landing at an alien planet where the two aliens are sitting on the roof, similar to the robot and the woman. And there we have it. It's exactly like we prompted and a really freaking cool shot, if you ask me. Okay, let's try a slightly different one. It's 1984 and we're in a high school locker hallway. The girl is wearing a red letterman jacket, talks to her robot boyfriend. She whispers to him, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? 
and just putting the text into the prompt, it works almost perfectly. I'm just amazed by this outcome. So if you click over to Scene Builder, um, you can scrub through each individual clip, click to save the frame as an asset, and as you see here, it's right here. I assume that if I clicked on it, we would be using it for VO2. But when we come back out here, um, it looks just like the regular prompt box for now. And uh, yeah, so unfortunately I ran out of credits uh, because this is a paid platform and it is 12,500 credits. Uh, right now it costs uh, $124, or I guess $125 a month uh, for, for the first three months, and then it rolls over to $250 a month uh, for, the, for the plan. So right now it's a little bit cheaper for it, but you have to get the Google AI Ultra to get access to VO3. If you get the Google AI Pro plan, it, you can get access to Flow and Whisk and a couple of other tools. Uh, within the Gemini ecosystem, but you can't get access to VO3 unless you do have the Google AI Ultra. When you click on VO3, you'll see down here that each generation costs 150 credits. So if you have the 12,500 credits per month, that makes each VO3 generation around $3 for the eight second clip, whether you can use it or not. So taking that into consideration, I wanted to put together a small project, testing out some of the new text to image with the speech capabilities. And here it is. You can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good, nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to, broken, and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss, and lose, and start again at your beginnings, and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone, and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run. Yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And, which is more, you'll be a man, my son.